As we get older and form relationships, we eventually grow to love people. Many of us express that love in a plethora of different ways. Some of us show it through our attention to detail, like getting our partner their favorite food, playing their favorite songs, or watching their favorite shows with them. Some of us show it by verbalizing our feelings, showering our partners in words of encouragement, praise, and support. Throughout Adventure Time, and eventually in Fiona and Cake, it's shown time and time again that perhaps the highest form of love expression is sacrifice. A perfect example of this is the relationship between Simon and Marceline. After being left behind by her mother out of fear for her demon powers, Marceline was all alone until she met Simon. He took her under his wing and gave her the world. He treated her like she was his own. He fed her, he protected her, and only ever wanted to see her smile. He went to great lengths and did everything in his power to make sure that Marceline felt loved and that she knew that she was worthy of that love. Throughout their journey together, Simon was forced to put on the crown in order to protect her, slowly losing his sanity in the process and eventually sacrificing his own mind to keep her safe. I can't imagine what Marceline had to go through after losing Simon and realizing that he'd never be the same man again. I can't fathom the pain that she must have been going through while telling Finn and Jake about her past with Simon, or in the episode I Remember You, when she shows Ice King scraps of newspapers from their past, desperately trying to remind the Ice King of who he used to be, looking for any sliver of Simon in the Ice King's cold, dead eyes. Eventually, Simon gains his sanity back and asks Marceline to help him communicate with Betty in the past. She sacrifices Hambo the only thing she had left that reminded her of Simon. The story between Simon and Marceline scares me deeply, because when you remove all the magical and fantastical elements around it, it's really a story about a child losing their parent to dementia. I can't imagine what it must be like to look into my mom's eyes and have her not recognize me. That pain would be immeasurable. And for Marceline to eventually let go of Simon and accept the Ice King as his own individual makes her, in my eyes, the strongest character in Adventure Time. This theme of sacrifice continues with Betty's story. Betty had always admired Simon for his research and academic works, and after spending time with him on their trip to find the Enchiridion, she falls in love with him as a person. As she goes back home, she leaves him a note confessing how she feels. On the day of the bus stop, she was going to go on a research research trip and pursue her career. Simon shows up having read the letter she left him and confesses that he feels the same. Right then and there, she gave up her future and her career to stay with him. Simon eventually put on the crown and drove Betty away, but she still loved him. She jumped at the opportunity to go to the future in hopes of saving him. She dedicated herself fully to her pursuit of Simon's sanity. She went as far as to steal Magic Man's powers, driving her crazy in the process. She tried reprogramming the crown. She fought ancient magics like Bella Noche and even changed the past all to no avail. In her final moments as she's being digested by Golb, she's able to see Simon one last time. She takes his crown and makes a wish to keep Simon safe, sacrificing her own individuality to save Simon. This is shown through Finn and Jake as well. After living a long and fulfilling life, Finn dies and ends up in the Dead World. He explores the Dead Worlds in an attempt to reach the 50th Dead World and be reunited with Jake. They later find out that the Lich is controlling New Death and that they have to kill him, but whoever kills New Death is chained to Death's duties forever. Finn and Jake then fight each other both in an attempt to sacrifice themselves and become death so that the other could reincarnate. Even Hunson Abadir, one of the worst parental figures in the entire show, was able to express any semblance of love he had for his daughter through a sacrifice. After he turned Marceline into the ruler of the Nidosphere, Finn and Jake make their way through hell and eventually realize that the demon they thought was Hunson was actually Marceline possessed by the amulet her father forced upon her. They get kicked out and eventually claw their way back into the Nidosphere. Finn sacrifices himself, letting him be possessed by the amulet just to free Marceline. Hunson sees how far Finn and Jake are willing to go and sees how much pain being the ruler of the Nidosphere brought Marceline. So he sacrificed his dream that one day his daughter would take over the family business just to make her happy. I didn't think a simple kids cartoon could have such an effect on me. 
Ever since finishing both Adventure Time and Fiona and Cake, I've been reflecting on my own life and grew to be more grateful for what I have. I've gone a long way from where I started. I don't have much, but what I have is far more than enough. I grew up poor in Vietnam. I remember what our house was like extremely vividly. It was just one big room with a sink and a stove in the corner. We didn't even have proper plumbing, just a pipe sticking out of the ground. I remember all the creative meals my mom came up with when I got tired of eating rice and soy sauce. My favorite had always been sauteed egg noodles with roasted peanuts. I remember having to go down to the lake or laying out newspapers every time we had to poop. Eventually, we were lucky enough to go to America, and I watched as my parents worked tirelessly day in and day out just to provide for me. Even though we didn't have much, they bought me toys and clothes and kept me fed, all while asking for nothing in return. I can't thank my parents enough for all they've sacrificed, their dreams, their aspirations, all for me to be where I am today. Not only did I get to have a good education, but I have the time, equipment, and the means to create and pursue the things that I'm passionate about. Maybe sacrifice really is just another word for love, after all. Marceline, is it just you and me in the wreckage of the world? That must be so confusing for a little girl. And I know you're going to need me here with you. But I'm losing myself and I'm afraid you're going to lose me too. Oh yeah, keep it going.